Wario! We can see you behind that tree. You are terrible at hide and seek. Yee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Sorry for the delay on this part. I just can't for the life of me seem to get all the heart fragments in this level. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> so I ended up looking up a guide on GameFacts.com to be like make sure that I like to see which one I'm missing and as far as I can tell, I've gotten them all before, it's just that I can't seem to put together all of them in one run. And that's what I intend on doing here. Oh, I should show you the little sewer area here before I go any further. Uh, this will actually take you back to the beginning uh, if you fall down it. Well, oh, there's springs right there. <laughs> the whole place is symmetrical and there's nothing down there. See, it takes you all the way back here. So don't fall down there at a later spot. Be careful, these clown bullet bill type things, I suppose you could call them. Spriteling over here, the electric clown fence we will see soon enough. Uh, and that's really all I can say about that there. Some pocket change. No pocket change? I thought that was pocket change. <laughs> well, anyway, I think uh, that I've done this level so many times that I've thought that I've collected um, heart fragments in certain runs, but I actually didn't, and that's my issue in, um, you know, 100%ing this thing. So that's so I'm my intent here is to just play this level like it's the first time I've ever played it just to like give me a fresh start on it so to speak you know just by going through everything as carefully as possible there's the first heart fragment or statue part whatever the heck you want to call it and over here you got to climb some ladders uh, 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 carefully yeah <laughs> And here's your crystal, and over here is another heart fragment. Delightful! Let's get out of here, that's all. At least I hope. <laughs> uh, moving on, got another clown bill segment. Not really all that hard to bypass, just gotta watch for a gap. Eh. Can I, like, suck him from up here? Yeah, I guess you can. He's got some good suction power. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to get them because they would fall off the edge or something like that. I should use that more often. Yeah! This is the clown, electric clown fence thing here. You're just supposed to throw enemies at that target over there. Not that hard to do, but when it gets small and fast like that, it's it's gets kind of tricky, but at the same time, it's not risky in the slightest, just as long as you don't get too close to the fence. Obviously. <laughs> And what is this? Flying chickens? Blasphemy! Chickens don't fly, I demand more realism! <laughs> anyway, next area, got these glue globes. You're probably better off turning the camera angle so that you can climb up those easily, but it's not all that important. Uh, you probably don't want to go across that side, you probably want to use this side to, you know, with the glue globes to get... How'd, how'd that happen? <laughs> And to get across to here and that, but you can actually get across that via like that. Oh, let, let me try, let me try that again. Didn't try to do it unscathed. Sorry for this. I know this is possible. There we go. Because <laughs> I, I did that before on a, another run just to be risky. I just thought I would show that off there. I, uh, I also intend on being a little less reckless than I was the other times, other than the other part, just because I wanted to show that little trick. Uh, because that game over was really, really sloppy. <laughs> so I don't really want to have that all that often unless it's a necessity thing. Those three things home in on you, so to speak. Well, at least they they shoot out and then they uh, aim towards you. So they aren't that big of a deal. They're kind of slow. Obviously, this is a new kind of uh, whatever the heck this thing is. <laughs> So you gotta be wary of its attacks and just pay attention to its color so that you can determine which type it actually is before, you know, you actually take a hit from it or something like that. Just pay attention to those guys and you shouldn't have much trouble. Come on, turn your... There we go. I knew you could do it. And... Voila. Woo! And I wonder if there's anything behind those curtains. I, didn't, I never checked the curtains on other runs. I know there's no heart, heart fragments behind them. <laughs> Like I said before, I, I think that I've gotten all the heart fragments, it's just that I, I forget which ones that I've collected before, and I did not mean to spin him. <laughs> I need a guy to go down here. Thank you. So, as I said, I'm just going to play this one as if I've never done it before for the sake of making sure that I don't miss anything. Just gonna go through everything nice and carefully. Um, for this ring, you want to go all the way to the other side because it's going to flip vertically. And then what you want to do is turn the camera around to 
uh, like to go straight above Wario, you'll be able to do it once you get up there by zooming out. I think. No, wait, you can, you can do it there, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I think this is the right one. Yeah, I think this is it. When it turns to about 45 degrees, get on the other side. Now switch and jump. There we go. Heart fragment, red crystal. Let's get out of here. See, I've played this level so many times, I know it pretty well. <laughs> but, as I said, I, I would like to go through it as carefully as I possibly can, so I don't miss anything this time. I'm quite tired of playing this level. <laughs> Over here is a dead end, but it's worth going there anyway because of the switch. You'll notice the heart fragments over there. Got it. That is the fourth one, I think. It's kind of hard to tell on that statue over there. Anyway, let's just go up from here. Wait, actually, you have to go right from here to another dead end, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. Maybe the Spriteling. Gotta get all these critters for the 100% goodness. Mm, I believe I've taught that before. You guys are becoming useless. <laughs> sort of like Navi in a way, and that's not a good thing. Oh, shoot! Oh, my. <laughs> I could have fallen all the way back down the chicken town. Yeah, oh, down there is the chicken platform. Oh, and over here is a, a very odd bowling segment, if you could actually call this a bowling segment. The spotlight, you can tell where you're aiming just by holding the B button and doing a power throw. Uh, when it shakes in a panic, you know that you're aiming in the right spot. I like to aim for that one. Oh, that one next, because it's the furthest away from the ball. You have to hold the B button and whatnot to get over there, and it takes a little while for him to turn while you're holding the B button. You get the idea. This is actually completely optional. I'm just showing this for the heck of it. You get just some coinage for doing so. Uh, there we go. Give me my prize! Woo! Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Always use those little footsie pl platforms over there to tell where you are standing. Come up here for a treasure chest. And then you want to drop off onto the glue globe. And get over to this. Oh, I guess I, I could have dropped off from that platform up there. I thought there was more. I was, must be thinking of another spot. Just dodge in between these elephants. Not that hard to do. You can't hit them while they're flashing red, obviously. So don't even bother. <laughs> uh, Treptor. Let's see what's inside. Two ladders. Wait, wait, is there any? I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. As I said, I want to go carefully. Alright, good. Might be easier just to jump off those ladders if at all possible. This is a heart fragment. And we got some cloud platforms. Like, eh. It's amazing that Wario can stand on these cloud platforms even for a second. That must mean that Wario is part Pegasus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. I believe you want to go all the way down to the bottom first, and then come back up here, because there's a switch to activate this pooper, and you want to do that on your way back up just to save a little time. See the switch that activates that one up there? Now you got to go around to this ladder. Uh, you know what? I will take some garlic, please. Why not? As I said, I want to be a little more careful, avoid those game overs. <laughs> Something about Warrior World just inspires you to be reckless. <laughs> Alright, there's another switch there. I'm going to carefully drop onto that one. And then over to this platform, then... No? No? Thank you. <laughs> Wario truly has sticky fingers. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. And you got these guys, these are like imitation, um, what are they, Triceratopses, I believe they are, with those clubs that block your attacks, and they charge at you and stuff like that. They aren't really worth destroying, I don't think there's anything up here actually, so I'm just gonna move on, uh, before I go down that trap, though, I wanna go up here, and there we go, now we got a new type of enemy here. These snakes, they shoot lasers, or, I thought they shot lasers, or maybe I'm thinking of something else, perhaps? Well, whatever, I'll just pick them up. And then they split like that, and then you can actually use 
other enemies to stun it in one shot, which is pretty nice. I could have sworn they... Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of something else anyway. You want to get that treasure over there, of course. 100% or bust, as I said. I don't think there's anything else up here. But see those cages over there? These are some rather interesting enemies. <laughs> Clearly, the cages have no effect on these critters. It does not keep them contained, and that's... That tells me they, they're doing a very bad job on the, the container that they're using to hold these critters. Anyway, I, as I said, I don't think there's anything that you need underneath these guys. But you do need one to go down this trapdoor. So that's what I'm going to be doing, like so. And here we are. Uh, oh, this one. You got to jump onto the glue globes. This first one is probably trickier than the other ones because of the fact that it's slower and it's going in the direction that you're going to be falling at. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> but the good thing you can try this as many times as you want. Swah! Wah! And now the second one, which is faster and easier because it's in the direction that you're going. Even though there's a little bit of momentum to be had, but that's not really that big of a deal. Alright, now I need... Wait, actually, I don't need one for here, do I? Wait, just to be sure that I'm not missing anything, let's let's get these guys to move away from their... their spots that they're guarding, just to make sure there's nothing under it. Nope! Okay, let's go down. This is a no-return type of area until you get back to the actual end of the stage, where you can use those balloons to get to the beginning. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Alright, this is the red one again, if, in case you can't tell. It shoots a laser. And that laser apparently can hit its own kind, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Ow. Wait, I, I didn't take a hit there? I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there. Well, whatever, I'm not complaining. Pick it up! Now die! Woo! Alright, you can't get up there no matter how you... No hard, matter how hard you try from over here, just saying, so you're gonna have to go there a little bit later. As for now, grab onto that. You can get some garlic over there, but otherwise it's a dead end. Uh, be careful of the flamethrowers, and you need an enemy to get down there. You're probably better off with the chicken, actually, because it's a little bit easier to get that over those crocodiles. There you go. What do we have down here? Oh yeah, it's this one. You gotta grab onto the glue globe and then jump as it's being shot forward. Woo! Delightful. <laughs> I've taught that before, didn't I? Yep, these guys turning into Navi. That makes me very sad. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I don't really feel like bothering with the crocodile dudes, but you definitely want to go up here when that flamethrower is not bugging you. To be able to hit. I said to be able to hit that switch. There we go. Dang those sticky fingers. And go over here. Now from here, go to the left. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, before I forget, I want to go to the upper spot because there's this. Uh, yes, I am... Uh, I already taught that before, didn't I? <laughs> Curse you, Navi! Oh, jeez, I almost fell off. That would have sucked, because I would have had to go through that lower area again. Okay, be careful over here not to fall off, because otherwise you're going to have to do it all the way from the beginning again. And you definitely don't want to do that. There's nice crocodiles over there now for some reason. Okay. Wait, you know what's safer? That. Or maybe not. <laughs> I, I bumped off of something. That was kind of weird. That is obviously not the best idea like I thought it was. <laughs> was there like an invisible wall there or, or something? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just find our way out of here. It's not that hard to do so. <laughs> All you do is lose coinage, not health anyway. And I've got loads. Oh, it really puts me here. Really? Oh, why would you do that to me? Don't kill me! Ah, it's so hard to time on that second one. That's why I was worried about doing this first section again. Uh, I got kind of lucky the first time I got across it. But I guess falling down there... Oh, it puts me right here. <laughs> Take me across! Dang it! Thank you. And... There we go. 
And there we go. Now you'll notice these things right here. You just gotta punch that to make it go up. And then you use them as a platform to move forward. But before I punch those two, I wanna go to here and get that, I suppose. Uh, punch and punch. Now go up and up here. Voila! And now we've got a clown ring of sorts. Well, it's actually well, a battle ring to get as many coinages as possible. Yeah, you can use the pillars as you did before, so it's not really that big of a deal. And uh, I have a feeling that I'm missing something. I, I think I should have another heart fragment by now. Just saying, so I might actually go back after this just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. <laughs> I'm becoming a little bit paranoid about missing things nowadays. <laughs> Although I could just use the balloon to go back in time if need be. You know, way back, way at the end of the stage and just show what I missed. And kill this guy off. Is there any more? Oh, there's... It's this one here. I didn't see him before. <laughs> and okay, prize. And let's move on. Uh, guess I shall use this to go up to the left side first for the switch, and then go to the right side because there is another heart fragment. I th I still feel that I missed one though at this point. But ah, well, there's that one. And now I must go over to the right side, like here. I'll be coming back the other side through another route, so don't worry. There's that treasure chest there. And now you plop yourself off down here. And there's a switch that you want to hit later. But no, no, no! Wait, actually, maybe I should hit that now. Because I don't remember if there's a treasure chest down the other route. Yeah, I guess you guys don't shoot lasers. That's okay with me. <laughs> Alright, got that switch. And that switch activates that treasure chest up there. That's a lot of bullets. <laughs> and over here you want... Ow. Wait, I, I don't have to deal with you at all, do I? Because I've got a clown buddy here. Oh, I should say unlimited clown buddies. To hit the ele clown electric fence. Should I be pitting them against their own kind? Probably not, but that's just how things are going. How did I miss one there? They're both crossing over into the same spot. One more! No, don't hit me. There we go. And voila! Over there is a bunch of those elephant guys here. They, they charge at you like so, and yeah, it's not even gonna bother with that. <laughs> there isn't anything over there anyway, so it's like, yeah, I'm not even. And now, what I wanna do is go back through the other routes. That's a lot of backtracking, I know, but what else can you do? <laughs> See, remember that other one? I had to go and hit the switch ahead of time, which was on the lower route. Um, up here, thank you. And that's the treasure chest I'm looking for. Alright. Now let's destroy yet another clown fence. These things are so tedious. It's not that they're hard to get past, just... <sighs> gotta throw six enemies on, on these. Ow. Unless you get, like, really lucky and hit two at the same time, but that's really, really unlucky. <laughs> I mean, that, that's really, really lucky, excuse me. Alright, one more, it's going vertical. Oh, come on. We can do this. Yeah! And another one bites the dust. I don't think there's anything hidden underneath another one of those... trapped guys that are not actually trapped. What the heck are inside those things, anyway? Are they lions? They certainly have very sharp claws and paws like lions. <laughs> I want, to, I want to take this up ahead because I want to do this. Eh, let me get into auto spin mode there. Oh, I let go of it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's another trapdoor off to the side here. I don't think I need anything to get... No. 
Yeah, I can just flop down here. Uh, oh, I need to use this to get up there, like that, using a little bit of rhythm. Mm, so the boss's name is Clown Around, good to know. I actually haven't played the boss in all the runs that I've played this level because of the fact that I have, uh, um, you know, you gotta collect all the stuff before you go in the door, and it's like I never had to do that sort of thing before because I... That thing looks like a Rubik's Snake. <laughs> Or Rubik's Twist, they call it nowadays. Just saying. Uh, you want to use these things to get to the other side, but it might actually be easier just to, like, dash across. Yeah! Like that! Ow! <laughs> I should say it might be a little bit faster to get across there. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I don't recommend that method, but it works. <laughs> Because at least, you, you know, with the other route, you can try it as many times as you want to. Alright, now from here, you want to you want to go over to the right first. Ow! <laughs> I wanted to try jumping over that fire stream, but I obviously couldn't do it. Yeah! Oh, over there's another heart fragment. I believe there is another one down a trapdoor to the right, which I will be covering in just a sec. Aw, oh, come on, you can't be on top of the glue globe while that thing is on fire. Come on, that's just unmean. <laughs> Alright, there's the treasure chest over there, but I'm not gonna do that just yet, because otherwise it'll be kind of hard to get back up here. I'll get that on my way down. And... I see another heart fragment over there. I'm gonna turn it side-scroller-like, because that's what this area kind of feels like to me. <laughs> uh... Okay, good. Wait, I need to turn it... Oh, it's next set, okay. Because on this last set, you have to turn it like this, because you can't, like, jump down the center, obviously. And there we go. And it's, that was the last heart fragment. See, I knew I got them all before! <laughs> it's just a thing of that I just never could get them all in one run. <laughs> All right, I am so happy, and this is also the last treasure. <sighs> and the stage is 100%ed, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, other than the um, uh, boss of the stage. So let's get ourselves out of here. Can I jump up there manually? Yeah. Yes. So I guess it isn't that hard to get up there. And here's the end of the stage. Let's plop our red crystals in there. Requires four, of course, just like the other one. Come on! Yeah, I'm so excited to finally be all done with this dang stage! <laughs> Alright, clown around! Let's do it! Oh, I'm at two hearts. That's, maybe I should have used the garlic guy back, uh, back before I got up here. Ah, whatever. Yeah, that's right! I am! I 100% of the stage! I'm so proud of it! <laughs> took me far too long for this thing. Frustrating hours! Needless to say, you're gonna have to travel from one side to the other via that, um, those glue glo globes attached to the ball. You wanna punch him in the face, apparently. And I bet you those guys would hurt you if you let them. Uh, okay, I bet you I need to go like this. That's what I thought. Woo! Yeah, I know you can't stand on that uh, wire. I remember that much about this boss. I don't know why he throws that ball to the other side. I think that would be beneficial to him, actually, if you ask me. I think those, these guys automatically destroy themselves when they... No, let me... Fine. <laughs> I thought those heads automatically destroy themselves after... Well, oh, oh, I see. That's why he throws the ball like that. <laughs> And now I know. Alright, you throw it there. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that explosion before. <laughs> How could I not notice the explosion before? I don't know. Alright, make the ball here. And let me get across. To, oh, poopers. I'm gonna have to hide over here, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, you throw it. Fine. Yeah, I, I noticed you could duck off to the side there. The blast radius just isn't that wide. Alright. Make some heads. Let me punch you now. Why don't those have any hats? And why couldn't I keep punching them? That's kind of disappointing. And I probably should have grabbed onto one of those balls. 
Oh, and they're not affected by the explosion, though. They do look flammable. <laughs> they look like bombs with that one hair sticking up on top of their head like a fuse. And, oh, they don't hurt you if they jump into you. But, oh, they can't explode. Ha ha! Let me across. Dang it! <laughs> Fine, I'll hide out in this corner. This is not a hard boss in the slightest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, out of my way. Dang it! <laughs> it's kind of hard to grab onto that uh, ball as well when all these guys are coming after you. <laughs> Someone hit me. No! I fell off the edge. No! Yeah, I should have went over to the garlic guy just as I thought. But that's okay. I have loads upon loads of coins. Four continues. <laughs> all right, now let me punch him in the face. Wait, did he throw the ball? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I was a little scared there. But I did notice that those guys got trapped. Hey! Why did you do that? <laughs> I guess so he could do that. If the boss is that smart, it could do that as many times as it wants to, dang it. Alright, time to get the punches started. Stun it, stun it, and kill it! Yeah! Finally! 100% complete! <laughs> With a butt scratch of celebration! <laughs> oh. Yes, I can sleep again! <laughs> and you know, I might as well go and do the boss, because I know the bosses are a lot um, shorter than the other ones. I mean, shorter than the usual stages, so I might as well just do that right now. And then start off on a fresh world on 3-1. Uh, and I probably should explore this area just a little bit. Yes, please! Save, dear lord! Now you can see... Oh yeah, baby! So beautiful! <gasps> You have no idea how that was tormenting me. <laughs> I really must have OCD when it comes to 100%ing stuff. <laughs> you can climb on top of these tents for whatever reason. You can't really do much on top of them, though. I just thought I would show that. And I guess that's all it for the area, really? Ah, whatever. Let's just go down. Well, go up to the boss area now. And finish off World 2. Luckily, there's no stuff to collect. Dual Dragon Showdown. I do not remember this boss at all. Though I probably will once I start fighting him. <laughs> well, you could expect two dragons, because, you know, there's Dual Dragon Showdown, so that's kind of obvious. I guess you, I guess you can punch him like that. That, I suppose. Um, was that... Oh, that's how you hit it? That's it? Really? I'm a, I'm a tad disappointed, actually. <laughs> So, what, you gotta use the fire of the other one to hit the other one? Or something like that? There's some, well, blue globes, apparently. I'll shoot some fire at the other one, please. So, that's actually how you're supposed to do it, huh? Yep, gotta use their fire against them. So I just got really lucky on the first hit. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do it again. Knock this one silly and let the other one shoot fire at it. Just keep it stunned. No glue globes. No glue... Ow! <laughs> Don't stop that! Fire! 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 <laughs> I said fire! Thank you! <laughs> Delightful! Oh, I got nicked by one of the fireballs. That's okay. I'm being a tad reckless now, but that's okay, I suppose. I got a lot of health after that handy continue. <laughs> And no! Don't shoot those! I want fire! Yeah, Caveman want fire! Shoot! 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 Come on! I demand! There we go! <laughs> and is that really it for the boss? Because that's kind of disappointing if that really is it. It certainly feels like it! <laughs> well, there we go! <laughs> That was over in minutes! <sighs> World 2, 100%. 
and via the power of apparently electric locks, the next world opens up. Yes, save! Save! Yes! <laughs> Alright, um, I should also show you something else that I forgot to show you before. Strangely, you are able to punch the little idols that are outside the, um, levels. Not those, not those statues, I'm talking about these things. No, wait, wait maybe it's not those. Let me try... I thought, I thought, hmm... I just swore some of these you could punch. <laughs> Hmm. Good. Eh, whatever. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Because <laughs> I, I thought there was something out here that did something weird when you punched them. But whatever, I, I don't care anymore. I'm done with this part. I'll see you in the next part when we start World 3.